ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the DFS experience for Tuesday, March 29th. We have a five game slate. You might hear some wind in the background, a um, little bit of bad weather in my area, but we're gonna, um, we're gonna, we're gonna deal with it and get through this video. And we're gonna start with DraftKings, we're gonna start with point guard. Luca 11-4 against the Lakers, absolutely. Kyrie 10-8 against Detroit, they just smashed them. Um, am I worried about a blowout? Um, yeah, but um, I don't even know what to tell you. Kyrie is ten he's a little pricey. You think he's gonna be able to pay that off? You play him. He's almost 11k. If you think he's going to be able to give you 60 plus fantasy points, play him. If you don't think he can give you that, don't play him. That's the best advice I can give you. Harden, 10-2. He's in play against Milwaukee. Um, Westbrook is 88. He's going to stay right where he is. I'm not touching him. Drew Holiday, 87. Um, he's in play. Ray Jackson, 7k. He's in play. Max, he's in play at 64. Dinwiddie, 61. Clarkson, Brunson. Brunson looks good. Um, Brunson, Dinwiddie, Luka look amazing because they have the greatest matchup in the world. We, I say this every video, and the, look, there's people that listen to the video. Um, I'm not saying that I'm going to be 100% 100% corrupt all the time, but what I'm saying is that people that watch the video take what they need to get from it and do well in DFS so you can listen to me or not listen to me but I've been saying the same thing every video target the Lakers defense not it's not that it's not a spectacular revelation they're the worst defense in the league right now let's continue Conley to play Trey Mann Terrence Mann I'm sorry um listen he's okay he's okay but he's not he's not reliable I don't even have to I don't even have to look at this game log to know. Look, 45, 35, 27, 42, 18. Like, I can't do that. I can't do that. Yeah, he has an upside. You know, you're gonna play him in um you're gonna play him in tournaments, sure. But you know, play him in two, three, four, five percent of your lineups. Don't 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 play him heavy, he's unreliable. No crucial for me at fifty three, Malik Monk. Malik Monk Sorry, can't do it. Um, listen, two percent of your lineups. Dragic, no Dragic for me. No AO. Now this is a five-game slate, so you gotta open up your hearts to players that you don't usually play. So saying with me saying that, um, Sadaransky, if he starts, he's in play. I like none of the stuff down here, so I'm, I'll probably have to jump back up to these Chicago guys. AO. Caruso, you want to play one of them if they start because you need bodies that do you could do that, but just you know, just be aware of how much of these players you're playing because they're not, they're not, um, the probability of them doing what you need them to do is not high. Cunningham's in play, even though he's a little spicy. Damian Mitchell's always in play. Levine's in play. Middleton looks good at 78. Caldwell Pope, 55. He's in play. Uh, with this new look Washington squad, as long as KCP is under 6K, he's in play. He's viable to go off. He's going to shoot a lot of threes. He's going to get some steals. Um, you know, just, you know, just don't play him too much, but... He could win a tournament for you. Seth Curry. Seth Curry is in play. Abdi is in play off the bench. Yes, I know he comes off the bench. Curry Joseph starts. You want to take a shot on Curry Joseph? Have at it. Reggie Bullock, you want to take a shot? Have at it. You're going to do it against the Lakers? That's the best time to ever do it. Um, pay attention to what happened today. Pay attention to late scratches. And clearing off your bench um, I've been warning you about this since last week and it's happening so just pay attention um, Giannis Durant Sadiq Bay is in play 
Bruce Brown's in play. He's been playing well next to Durant, believe it or not. Marcus Morris is in play, 5,300. He's not that good, not a good fantasy producer, but he's in play. Finney Smith, you want to take Finney Smith? You can. This is the time to do it. Kispert had a good game. You want a game chase? Have at it. I won't be doing that, but if that's what you like to do, enjoy. And anything down here, not for me. Let's continue. You got LeBron going for the scoring title. I've been saying this for six weeks because it's abnormal for LeBron to be scoring this high, this frequently, this consistently. So he's obviously have something, you know, he has something planned. He wants to win the scoring title. And if you're play if you're playing LeBron James who's motivated to score at least thirty points, that's the easy that's easy fantasy points. That's the easiest fantasy points you'll ever get in your life. Play LeBron James. That's it. Nothing to talk about. Paul George might be back and nine K out pass. If he if he starts if he plays and he starts and they say he'll be on he'll play his full minutes, that's a different story. Porzingis is in play. The Rosen's in play. No Tobias. Marvin Bagley's in play. Hachimura is trash. You playing, you know, a hundred lineups. Came in one. He's awful. He's got awful. Marcus Aldridge. Twenty-three minutes. If he's gonna get at least twenty-three minutes, he gets playable. Forty-five hundred dollars. Covington. If, there's no, if, if Paul George happens to sit, you want to take a shot on Covington, take him. If he comes off the bench and Paul George is playing, I don't know how many minutes he's going to get. 22 minutes. So, I'm not going to risk that if George is back. And that's about it. Until something pops up later, I'm not wasting my time and digging in a dumpster because Valley will break loose later on during the day. So no need to, you know, no need to do all that. And beats in play and beats going for the scoring title too. So if you could find a, if you could find a way to get Embiid and LeBron in the same lineup, do that. Don't be surprised they drop. They both drop 40 point games, like actual points. I know what I'm talking about, so if you can get Embiid and Braun in one lineup, do it. It's going to be hard, but, you know, try your best. Fooch is in play. Gobert is in play. If he plays. Drummond played some minutes last game. 31 minutes. Uh, you know, I... Uh, I hate Steve Kerr as a coach. I'm not even going to talk about Drummond right now. I don't know what's happening with him. I don't want to recommend Andre Drummond that he plays 12 minutes. Maybe I'll get in my, get in my chat. You don't know what you're talking about. Um, Zubox and play. Brook Lopez is in play. If Gobert sits... Then you could you could go to Greg Monroe. He's somewhere down here, right here. So if they start Greg Monroe, you could play him. He should be able to get your fantasy points in a quarter and a half. So um, I like him, B. Braun Braun I'll take Sadoransky for value
Flight 58 Maverick. That's what I should do. Brunson at 59. And a small forward. Let's see what this looks like. 33 left. Well, this won't be his exact lineup, but that's what you're looking to do. And B, LeBron, who takes out a Ransky for value. Brunson, because of the matchup. Middleton, because he's Middleton. Obviously, you won't be able to use this in a, you won't be able to use this in a lineup, but um, you will have to take out Middleton and find value. So, if you're listening to the video, you'll understand it. If you're just um, trying to copy the lineup without listening to the video, you'll be all fucked up in your head. So, uh, make sure you understand what's happening right now. These are five guys that I like. You cannot play this in one lineup because it won't work. You'll have to take out Middleton, wait for value, plug in your value, try to keep and beat in James, and you're good to go. We're going to go to FanDuel. It's only a five-game slate. Making this video real quick. Um, thanks for being here. If you're new, subscribe, hit the bell, thumbs up. Welcome to all the people that hit me up and said that they're new here and they found the video. I appreciate you. Thanks for being here. Um, you, these, these videos get a little brutal sometimes when people leave dumbass comments, but I like to keep it 100 in this, in this space and in this chat, so don't mind me. Um, once again, thanks for being here. If you need any um, extensive help building lineups, you can take a look at the Patreon at the first of the month, April 1st, because it's about to renew. Or you can DM me on Twitter, and we'll set you up with something if you can't wait to the beginning of the month. Other than that, let's start with point guard. Lucas 10-5, good to go. Kyrie's in play. Holiday is in play. I love Mitchell. Westbrook is... Playable, but not for me. Cunningham looks good. Reggie Jackson. Reggie Jackson is fine. Brunson looks good. Maxie is fine. Dinwiddie looks amazing. Clarkson is okay. Conley is fine. Killian Hayes. i never seen Killian Hayes hit value in my entire life. Um. 17, 34, 30, 29, 0, 7. I would say I play Killian Hayes depending on match, but 53 is a big price. I pass on him. Caruso is okay. Seth Curry looks good at 47. Neto's coming off the bench now. No Miller for me. Kobe White, if you need value as of right now, he won't be good good value tomorrow. Sadaransky's your value at 3,800, 3,600 starting. And that's about it. No need to dig in the trash. Harden's okay. I prefer Luka. Drew Holiday's alright. DeMar DeRozan is fine. Levine is fine. Middleton looks good. Terrence Mann is too expensive on FanDuel. Bruce Brown is alright. Malik Monk, 1% of your lineup. KCP is fine. Reggie Bullock, he's even fine because of the matchup. Pat Connington, no thanks. Everything else is trash. Giannis, LeBron. Yeah. Giannis, LeBron, Durant in play. No Tobias. Avi is kind of pricey. Sadiq Bay looks good on FanDuel. Marcus Smart is alright. Hachimar is trash once again. I'd rather play Finney Smith. Corey Kispert. Listen. Gun to my head. $4,300 left. I still won't play Corey Kispert. Um, this is tough down here. It gets real ugly. You're gonna have to wait till tomorrow to get value. I don't wanna recommend I don't wanna recommend this trash. 
wait for value, be patient, wait for value, and you'll be all right. Um, Porzingis, Bagley, Bagley is my guy. Bagley's a lot for me because I didn't realize Jeremy Grant was out. Um, let me see something. Yeah, I just passed him. Okay. My bad. Yeah, so Jeremy Grant is out. Bagley is Bagley has risen to the top. We're gonna take out Middleton. And we're gonna put Bagley here. We're gonna put Bagley at forward. So I'm playing him. I'm locking him in. He's my lock of the day. That's how we're looking. That's how we're feeling right now. Um, so Marvin Bagley, Aldridge, and, yeah, that's about it, to be honest with you. I'm good. And, for center, got Embiid, Colbert, Boots. Zubat. Lopez. Radiators blasting, so let's wrap this up. Um, we're going to do the same thing. We're doing a B. Bagley. Braun. I do like Cunningham. Brunson. And... Dinwiddie. Not, not bad. So I got Dinwiddie, Brunson, Braun, Bagley, and B. That's five guys that I like the fan doing. So, let me get out of here. I'll be back shortly with the Yahoo video. Um, thanks for watching. Hope you guys had a good night. And I'll see you in a few. Talk to you later. Ciao.